Hello, my name is Sean Beasley, and I want to talk to you today about the Time Accounting Module. The Time Accounting Module can be installed using the OTRS Package Manager. If you go to the Admin section and to the Package Manager link in the fourth column, then you can refresh from the online repository all of the available packages. So select the master as source, click Update, and then you'll see that the package list in the online repository has been updated. So here if we choose the time counting module and click install then we'll be presented with the welcome screen from the time counting module and then we can click continue and then we'll have a notice here talking about the new group that's going to be created and we can click continue again. Now we have to set permissions so the permissions are done also in the admin section under user groups. You'll see there's a new group here that says time accounting. If we click on that then we'll be able to assign our users to this group as we see fit. Here read write permissions for the administrative user and read only permissions for the test user. I so will click submit. And now we log out and log back in as the administrative user so that we'll then see the module, the time accounting module and we'll be able to make our changes as necessary. Uh, the next thing we need to do is make some settings within the time accounting module. If we click on time accounting, we'll automatically land at the uh, time accounting settings page because there's no settings that have been made. We'll click on the uh, user settings and add a user setting for our test user. We can add a comment here or we can choose to leave it out. We can choose the day of, of the beginning period, the day of the end period, the days of vacation, the days of or the hours per week that need to be worked and if any authorized overtime has been set then you could set here uh, overtime hours. If you want to allow the users to create their own projects you can select this check mark box and if you want them to actually see overtime that they've worked then you can add the check mark to this box. So once we have clicked submit then we need to create a new task. Let's go ahead and call this testing. Tasks are usually something that uh, can relate to any product or any project, but they, they mustn't directly have a relation. So then we'll go over here to the project settings and click new, data new project. We'll call this project software development for customer ABC. So then we'll add a comment. And we'll click Submit when we're done. So now we have a project, a task, and our user has a time period. Let's go ahead and log out and see what happens when we log back in as the test user. So now we're logged in as the test user, and the first thing we see is that we've got all these days that are not filled out. We don't have any other options here, no navigation bar, nothing of the sort. This happens when a specific time has been reached and that you can, can configure in the sysconfig. So going to the sysconfig, we'll select the time accounting group and click show. And then the settings we're looking for are in front end agent. It's a subgroup of time accounting. So there's a plethora of settings that we can choose here from default project status to default action names. Uh, it's just, a, you'll have to play around with the different settings to see which ones are pertinent for you. Here's the setting that we're looking for, max interval of incomplete days. So we can't do anything as an agent if we're logged into the system and we haven't completed uh, our time accounting for the last specific set period. So let's change these values to 60 for max interval of incomplete days, 10 for max interval of incomplete days before warning, and 90 for max allowed insert days. Now max allowed insert days are the is the maximum period with which a user can go back and change any information he may have entered into the system. 
Logging back in as our test user, we'll now see that we have the warning. Please insert your working hours, but we can do other things within the system. So going to time accounting as a user will automatically set us to the edit screen. Then we'll select our first day for which we need to enter information and we'll start choosing a project and a task. So this basically tells you later at the end of the month when you look at the reporting that this time from 8 o'clock in the morning until 10 o'clock in the morning was spent on doing software development for customer ABC and you were doing testing or this person was doing testing. You can also enter the time interval in a period of one hundredths or you can enter the time period in a an hour format. So for example one hour and thirty or twenty seven just to make it more obvious. So now when we click submit you'll see that all of the times have been entered and the user can continue making entries for the day the time is totaled at the bottom. The next thing if you have to do more projects you can see that I just expanded the view to include more project information. If your users are on vacation they can select on vacation for that day. Do another one for example if they're on sick leave that day then they can click on sick leave and if they are taking overtime leave for example if they've worked a couple of extra hours that they're not being paid for but you want to compensate them for then they can choose on overtime leave and that'll be an indicator of why they weren't there on this day now if we go to the uh, overview we'll see our entries for this month here you can see the uh, amount of sick leave that was taken and you can see the remaining days of vacation because this user had already registered for one day of vacation. And that's the time accounting module. Thank you for your time.